Welcome to our Nova School video series. This is Marvin, and in this video, I'll explain to you what the differences are between the UTXO and the account-based balance models, and how they work on blockchains. Before we get into the different balance models, it makes sense to take a step back and look at the blockchain in more general terms, as a state machine. Any system is called stateful when it remembers past events or interactions by its users. This remembered information is called the system's state. A blockchain is an example of a stateful system. When a new block is added, the system changes based on rules defined in its protocol. All blockchains, whether they use the UTXO or account model, operate in a similar way. Users interact with the blockchain through transactions, which are shared with the network and recorded in a new block. The balances of the people involved in the transaction are then updated as the blockchain transitions to a new state. The main difference between the UTXO and the account model lies in the way of recording the state and transitioning from one state to another. In the UTXO model, used by Bitcoin, the movement of assets is recorded as a directed acyclic graph, or DAG, between addresses, whereas the account model maintains a database of network states. This picture shows a directed acyclic graph that represents the UTXO model used in blockchains. Each block in the blockchain is represented by a state. Each transaction is shown by a line that starts at a point that represents the transaction output. Unspent transaction outputs don't have lines starting from them, and in the picture, the unspent outputs are 3, 5, 6, and 7. In the UTXO model, Account balances are calculated by adding up the available unspent transaction outputs. This is like people holding different amounts of cash in their pockets. Each transaction creates outputs that must be spent as a whole, and any excess money is sent to a self-controlled address as change. For example, if you spent 15 ADA from a UTXO containing 20 ADA, you will create two outputs in the transaction one for the payee, and one for the change to the original owner. This is like spending $15 with a $20 bill and receiving $5 in change. However, there are two key differences. First, in a cash payment, you rely on the payee to return the change, while in the UTXO model, the payee is never in control of the change. Second, while cash exists in defined denominations, Transaction outputs in the UTXO model can have arbitrary values. If a blockchain is based on a UTXO model, you won't have an account with a balance to keep track of your transactions. Instead, each transaction is recorded individually, and there is no final balance saved on the ledger. To know your balance, your wallet scans the ledger for all transactions to your address and adds them up. In the account model, such as the one used by Ethereum, the state of the system updates after each block, according to the transactions in that block. The assets are represented as balances within user accounts, or smart contracts. Every account in Ethereum has a balance, storage, and a code space for calling other accounts or addresses. When a transaction occurs, nodes decrement the balance of the sender's account, and increment the balance of the receiver's account. Each transaction has a nonce to prevent replay attacks, where a fraudulent transaction is submitted and executed more than once. Transaction fees are calculated based on the number of computations required to complete the state transition, rather than storage capacity. The account model keeps track of all balances as a global state, which is a database of all accounts and their current balances. The global state in the UTXO model is the set of all transaction outputs, whereas in the account model, the global state is updated and balances change. Basically, the UTXO model is a way to verify transactions 
where users specify what the outcome of the transaction should be. Nodes check if the inputs have not been spent before, and if the signatures are correct. On the other hand, the account model allows users to tell nodes how the state should change, and the network will compute the new state. A key takeaway is that the UTXO model is better when dealing with simple transactions. The account model is beneficial when dealing with more complex logic. If you want to delve deeper into the topic, you'll find the source references in the description. If this video has provided you with added value and want to learn more about Cardano, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos.